think it's been a very emotional morning. I think um, uh, Mercedes has been an, an immense woman this morning. Everybody she's met have had memories of Emiliano and it's brought tears to her eyes, as you'd expect a mum to be. But she's very, very proud of her son and uh, met her father, the, his father's the same and, and the brother and sister. And it seems like they're not just the family, but the whole village is, is, um, is like united. Um, and uh, they've just been amazing uh, how they've coped with it. Things like this don't happen in football. Um, I mean, I've been a manager nearly 40 years now, and I've never known anything quite like this, if I'm honest. It's um, something they hope never happens. And, and uh, you know, we, we've managed to, we, we've managed to uh, have games at the same time. It's been so emotional, you know. People say, well, he's never played for you, or but he was my player, you know, and um, the feelings I had, you know, I chased him, wanted him, and he said to me, I will get you the goals that keep you up in the Premier League, and I, I said, I know you will. I met him twice uh, over the course of the signing, and and if you meet Emiliano, you, you know he's, he's a great, great person, very humble, very down to earth, he's ready to, to play in the Premier League, so, we feel very sad and the whole club feels very sad and Cardiff as general feel very sad of the incident and today I think it's good for the family to have some closure when they found the body and they found him it's, it's just very good and to meet the, the family today I mean they are really really humble people and the community here is, is, is really fantastic.